Hey loves, welcome back to yet another video. So this video is how to make this really, really pretty and simple off the shoulder top, perfect for fall and perfect for summer as well. Don't forget to subscribe, that's right, go right now and press the subscribe button for a lot more fabulous videos. So first of all, you need all the following items, your favorite fabric, I would say, uh, you definitely need less than a yard, uh, but about a yard. You want to use get tracing paper, regular scissors to cut out your pattern, fabric scissors, pins, maybe a roti cutter depending on how you feel, measuring tape, elastic, and of course a ruler. So this part is not that com complicated, it just sounds like a lot. What you're going to need to do is measure the top circumference of your shirt. I'll leave a photo here quickly of what I mean. Um, and you're going to multiply that by one and a half. And you also need to get the bottom part of your shirt and um, multiply that by one, by one and a half. But you're also going to divide it and minus your sleeves measurement. So just to clarify, what I mean by the top measurement is my 20.25. That is the top. That is subtracted of the 6 and the 6 for the sleeves, which is just the front. So your whole sleeve length would be 12 inches times 1.5, which is 18, and then the bottom, whatever your measurement is. So once you're done doing that, you're going to trace out your measurements of the top and the bottom there. You could see I just showed you. This is the top area. The bottom is more closer to my legs. You're just going to cut it out and it's going to look kind of like a, uh, I forget my shapes from elementary school, but a square with a skinnier top. We're just going to call it that because I honestly cannot remember. Um, asymmetrical or I don't know. Anyway, so you're going to go ahead and cut that out and you're going to be able to tell here now the area that's smaller is closer to my legs and the area that's bigger is closer to the um, bottom of the screen and that is just your shirt top and your shirt bottom. I just um, marked the center uh, fold but you don't really need to do that. For the sleeve measurement, you're doing a similar thing. You're gonna have the top measurement um, and then the it's gonna taper down to around your elbow or whatever area you want it to be. The length is also going to be um, the height of how long you want or tall you want your shirt to be. <laughs> um, now the part that's the biggest part is the part you sub subtracted from your total circumference. When you add the both top sleeves and the both front, um, the tops of your front shirt, you will, they will add up to your total circumference of your body. And again, I will leave a sketch at the end so you can make sure that you have these measurements. Um, now when you fold this, this will end up being a sleeve and you can see it fits perfectly with the top. Um, and that is exactly what you're going to end up sewing pretty much. <laughs> so here I um, accounted for the armhole. My armhole, I made sure I went down 5.25 inches. I measured my armpit, put the measuring tape in my armpit and saw, measured where I wanted it to start and where I wanted it to end. And that was what I considered my armhole. Um, and I've divided that by two in order to get this um, curve and then I would use like um, a sleeve what is it called a curved ruler in order to um, make a really nice sleeve um, the reason I forgot to mention in the previous part um, the reason I put them on top of each other is to make sure that they fit exact so now you can see them side by side they look like the same curve they're gonna be sewn into each other so now I'm just placing the fabric um, on the fold and making sure that my sleeve also is um, on two pieces of fabric so you're gonna cut the front the top twice and the sleeve once because you only need two sleeves and two tops and you're cutting the top on the fold so that's why you only need to do it you have to do it twice because it's folded over um, and now I'm just going over and just cutting everywhere that needs to be cut pretty much not much to say here um, I'm also going to include all these steps on my blog rachelnalamu.com if you need or have any questions definitely leave in the comments and also don't forget to go on the blog just in case you find more step-by-step -step information there that you may have not understood in this quick video So 
So at this point, I'm just finishing up cutting the last bit of the sleeves. Um, or not the sleeves, sorry, of the whole pattern. And then now I'm going to go ahead and lay them out. So what I'm doing is laying the two tops, uh, for two parts for my top, um, right sides together. Because that's how I'm going to sew it along the side with a half inch seam allowance and um, at this point also I'm going to do the sleeves they're going to be folded in half obviously sewn as well with a one half seam allowance everything is always half an inch unless otherwise specified depending on the fabric being used this is a stretchy fabric and also it's a gathered pattern so it's not that serious um, so for the elastic you want to go wherever you want the top to stop and add an inch to fold over. So I did my arms, my waist, and then obviously I did the circumference of my top. Um, so this is just showing you how it looks once it is sewn with a half inch seam allowance. And that's the sleeve. Now we're gonna put right sides together of the sleeve with the top for both sides. And we're gonna sew along there before adding any elastic or anything. So once it's sewn, um, all the seam allowances have been sewn and the sleeves have been sewn to the top, we're going to now work on the elastic. I left um, an inch and a quarter to be sewn for the elastic in and here you can see it is officially sewn. I never show my sewing process because I feel like once you're watching these, you know how to sew. Um, but I'm going to feed it in and I use a safety pin added to the elastic to feed it through. I actually have another video which I'll link on how to do that. And uh, now this is done. I'm going to make sure it's evenly distributed along the elastic and it doesn't chunk up. So this is when it's finally sewed um, and all put together. Luckily this fabric doesn't fray so I didn't have to, I didn't have to um, serge it which was really great because I didn't have a serger with me at that time and I don't want to remake this top. Although I got a lot of people now asking me for it so it's really funny. Um, but yeah, now you can see the top and how it's stitched the bottom and you need to now close where you fed the elastic through. So you're just going to do a quick stitch to close that hole in the shirt so there's no future problems. So this is the finished product. I absolutely love this top. I feel like it's so freaking perfect. I'm going to wear it all summer and then also I'm going to make um, one for the winter but I feel like it's just really, really, really classic. Cannot go wrong with this style. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll check you guys in my next video. Bye loves.